Welcome to your next module. So now we're going to get into the, the groups of rocks that we need to discuss. And there are three groups of rocks. Kind of like I mentioned when we talked about geologic time, we gave you a short little intro into that. What we're going to do for the next two modules is really talk about igneous rocks, our first group of rocks we want to discuss. There's two because igneous rocks also include volcanoes. And of course, you need to do two because of the eight week course. So you'll do this igneous rock lecture, which is basically an overview of all igneous rocks, right? Where do they form? We're going to try and tie it back to plate tectonics. So there's a connection there. And then in the second module, we'll, we'll focus more on volcanoes. And of course, those are still formed from igneous rock, formed from molten rock, but they make it to the surface and they create these features. So what you'll do for the main lecture content, there are two PowerPoints slash two videos. The first one is just talking about how do we get molten rock? Because the definition of our igneous rock is that it cools from molten rock. So how do we get molten rock? Is the entire inner earth molten? You know, what's causing parts of the inner earth to melt? So we're gonna discuss that in this first video slash PowerPoint. And then we'll talk about igneous rocks. How do we know they're igneous rocks? How do we identify them? How do we name them? What are they made of? And of course, where do they show up? And we're once again going to relate that back to plate tectonics. And so that's the content that you'll get through here. Because of course, like always, there's a lot of content. There's just this little study guide, which once again, it, it's really just a terminology. So I want you to if you're concerned right about the information just go through and make sure oh i know what what a granite is i know what silica content is i know what this term means i know what that term means so just kind of make sure you if you understand those terms then you'll have no problem with the lecture quiz but that's the main content like we've kind of been doing in the past modules there are two other things to do of course there is a article and this one's going to focus specifically on granite so granite's super common. You might have it, uh, you know, on your kitchen counters, bathroom counters, something that you probably have come into contact here or there. But of course, it's a, an igneous rock and is molten at one point. But these are the rocks that don't make it to the surface. They cool at depth, and that's why you get those incredibly beautiful crystals that you see. And so the article is just going to talk about that a little bit, focus on that one aspect of igneous rocks, and then there'll be a quiz. And then finally, I'm going to have you answer some additional questions about igneous rocks. And there's two ways that you're going to get that knowledge. One is, is through the information you've already gone through in the main lecture. The other is in the chapter four of the online textbook. And so the link will take you there and you can use that as your reference for when you're answering the questions in the homework. All right, so that's your main lecture stuff. Remember that you have a lab to also complete for this module and now we're kind of in this idea that uh, we're we're on track here like the minerals lab here we're doing an igneous rock lab what they're going to call actually plutonic so the term for the igneous rocks that cool inside the earth are called plutonic or sometimes intrusive so that's the lab is going to introduce you to that. It's going to hopefully support this information that you've gone through in lecture. Those things will kind of match up and be much more helpful now that we're on sync with our labs and lectures. All right. And as always, so lab, same setup, right? It's going to be like that through the whole class. And if you're struggling with the content, something's not working, you're not sure of what you need to do, or some concepts are confusing, please don't hesitate to ask me questions, reach out to me, and I can help you.